First off, we want to create a MIDI drum loop as a basis for further recording. The Magix Instrument Roboter can be used as a synthesizer for this. Now we'll set up the MIDI options for the first track and select Roboter as the output device. In the dialog that follows, we'll set the Roboter output channel allocation. We'll leave it at its default position on the track for now. In the track editor, we can select the Roboter program. Roboter also provides an integrated step and pattern sequencer, but in this case, we want to create the drums in the MIDI drum editor and use Roboter solely as a drum synthesizer. Now we'll set up a beat grid. and create a MIDI object over four bars. We'll open up the grid in the MIDI editor for editing. Since we wish to create drums, we'll switch to the MIDI drum editor. Here we can apply individual settings to each drum instrument, for example, MIDI channel, output note, solo, mute, display, etc. A general MIDI compatible allocation is set up by default. For Roboter, however, we require a different mapping. To create a new drum map, we have to open the Drum Map Editor and create a new map or load one that was created earlier. In the Drum Map Editor, multiple drum maps can be managed. Here, all available maps are saved with the VIP. We'll select the loaded Roboter map for this track which is then automatically used for our drum object, and then we'll create the beat. The velocity can be set when drawing in the beat. Because of the preset grid values, a basic beat pattern can be created quickly. The color of each track can be set individually and changes to the track can be made directly. By duplicating, we can quickly repeat the first beat and then vary it. Via control click move, notes can be copied on the fly. Similarly, the velocity can be changed directly by moving the upper edge. At the moment, the drum editor is in cell mode, that is, the note lengths are not displayed graphically. This usually makes working with drum editor easier and clearer. However, we can also switch to matrix mode in the drum editor to edit note lengths if required. The graphical velocity display can also be set. The velocity is displayed in bar height or color saturation. In any case, the velocity can also be changed with the velocity tool. All bass drum notes can be selected by double-clicking on the track and the velocity can be changed with the tool. Back in cell mode, we want to add some shuffle to the hi-hat. To do so, we'll open the corresponding grid quantization options of the hi-hat and set swing to 80%. Straight away, the grid is graphically adapted. By double-clicking on the hi-hat track, we can select all hi-hat notes and quantize them on the grid. 